so let's go ahead and open up the handgun script and right here in the bottom after this shooting let's create a enumerator type function by the name of reload and you will be saying that what this means uh, this actually means in unity the enumerator allow the program to yield things like the wait for second function which let you tell the script to wait without hoping the cpu so you can say that enumerator is basically used for simply pausing an iteration and as you know that while reloading we will pause the iteration okay while reloading we don't want the player to shoot or do whatever okay we will pause everything and we will first reload the handgun okay so that's why we will be using the enumerator so now in the reload function what we will do is actually we want that when the player reloads we don't want any movement etc etc but let's just leave that for now now right here we can simply say that when we are reloading we will set the reloading to true okay and after this just for testing purposes we will debug a message in our console that reloading okay so that we know that yes we are reloading after that what we will do we will stop the iteration so we can say yield return new wait for seconds and the seconds will be the reloading time okay after that when we are done reloading we will actually debug a message again right here that done reloading okay and after that what we will do we will set the present ammunition again back to the maximum ammunition because that's what we wanted okay we don't want the present ammunition to go in the minus okay we want it to be set it back to the maximum ammunition which is 25 okay so make sure that you do this and when we are done reloading we will set the set reloading to false because now our handgun is reloaded and we can set this back to false now after this if we move up right here inside this update function what we will do at the top is that we will say that if set reloading okay it means that if we are reloading then we don't want to move further we just want to say return and if you are not reloading and then we will check that if the present ammunition is less than or equals to zero if that is the case okay if the present ammunition is less than or equals to zero then we want to call the reload function for that as you know that it is a enumerator function so for calling the enumerator function we first type start coroutine I don't know if I spell that right or wrong, but it is like this. Okay, so just make sure that you type is type this as it is, and then we will simply call the reload function in there, and that is it. Then just simply say return because this start quarantine needs a return. Okay, it's a numerator function actually. So now this will basically do all of the reloading. Now we can just save the script, get back to Unity. And right here, we have the present ammunition, everything as it is. We have the set reloading. Now let's play the game. You can see we have the present ammunition and set reloading, everything set up. Now, if we try to shoot, okay, as you can see, the present ammunition is decreasing, and when it becomes zero as you can see set reloading is set to true and after for 4.3 seconds as you can see it has been reloaded again now the present ammunition is again equals to 25 and the magazine is now nine now if we end this magazine as well now as you can see the number of magazines is eight and after 4.3 seconds we have the gun reloaded again as you can see and now when we are reloading as you can see we can't shoot anymore and once the reloading is done we can shoot again and this is due to 
this line of a code right here right here we say that if set loading is true then we will simply say return okay we don't want to do any shooting or anything we just simply want to return again and again once the reloading is set to false okay so now we have the magazine ammunition system and the reload system now in the next video we will show the ui that you are out of ammo something like that for that catch you guys in the next one